Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, and more importantly, welcome to my second part of the La Seraphim review. This time we're going to be doing Anti-Fragile, and I just wanted to stop and thank you guys so much on the success of the first video. Right now, as I'm recording this, it has 140 views, which is a lot in comparison to every other video on this channel, so thank you so, so much for the support. Make sure that you guys like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, because these videos do take a very long time to make. So I really appreciate the support. It keeps me going and supports me. So yeah, thank you so much. Let's get right into it, starting with the Hydra. The track begins asking, Do you think I'm fragile? Which can mean a lot of things. But what's most important about it is how it contrasts the name of the album. To be anti-fragile. So once again, we start off with this unwavering doubt within Le Seraphim. This doubt is soon shot down immediately. Go for it. Try to break me down. Try to burn me. Dispose of me. I'm not fragile. You're wrong. No matter how many times I fall, I will get up over and over again. I will never break like you think I will. Don't hide your failures. I'm not afraid of disasters because I'm learning to control and overcome them. I will never fall to those disasters. I'm not afraid of storms I'm learning how to sail my ship. The repeated insisting that I am anti-fragile, I am not fragile, says a lot. And makes a lot of sense given our next song is the official second song of the album cover, Anti-Fragile. Anti-Fragile is one of those songs where you can find a progression of story from the beginning to the end. The fog's path is revealed to be one of thorns, more struggles than we thought. The path of being yourself is full of lies. They don't burn like they did before. Words like these in the song show that doubt that the Seraphim is beginning to form. And if you go deeper into the song, a little bit later, they begin to talk about how the world's turning on them as a result of their first album of fearlessness. So many people hate us. We didn't even realize it. They all prey on our downfall. I'm like a lion, bleeding my passion. But, in the first half of that explanation, you saw that there was still doubt. You could see as the hate from other people starts to really dig into the Seraphim, it starts to get them thinking a little bit. They realize the path they're taking is a very difficult one. Because not only is that path full of thorns, but those who didn't take that path continue to hope for their failure. And it leaves them thinking. Was this the right path after all? Our third track, Impurities, is a much more lighthearted song. Which to me is the true representation of this album cover. As the Seraphim starts to feel cracks in their facade of confidence and absolute fearlessness, like the name of the song suggests, they have impurities, parts of themselves that they consider bad. A disturbance in my transparent self, it fuses with me. I'm gonna ignore it. I will show you the side of me I have deemed wrong. I want to show you the real me. The glowing red light in the deepest parts of my soul, glittering intensely, slowly overstepping myself. The transition between my real and fake self overturned. Desires in my deepest self are confused by the darkness of my fake self. I went on a path of being myself and wound up hurt. It's natural, unbeatable. Maybe I wasn't my true self 
when I started going on this path in the first place. I can see a clear desire to be my true self. My desires are growing louder. The same raging passion. I see so many outcomes. Impurities is my favorite song in this album. Conceptually, it's amazing. It sounds beautiful. And it's a good break from this strong, confident sense of self that La Seraphim has presented to everyone. And it shows a bit of vulnerability. And this song is also a huge turning point in how La Seraphim deals with struggles from here on out. So, on to the next song. No Celestial. <laughs> I'm abandoning my spot near the top. I'm ripping off my wings. Fuck being an angel or a goddess. It's not who I truly am. I want to live a real life. Listen to the part of me that's honest with myself. Let myself fall back to earth. I'm not scared. No Celestial takes a more rock style form of expression. And it sounds very different compared to the rest of the songs in this album. This is when those cracks start to really open up and show themselves. The Seraphim's personality has taken a weird turn where they're starting to realize that in the first album, their confidence, their anger, their passion, everything they had wasn't that real. That power that they felt wasn't who they really were. It was an act in order to get to the top, in order to reach the highest they could. But starting with Sour Grapes, being reiterated in the Hydra and Anti-Fragile, but really showing itself in Impurities, you start to realize that they're becoming not satisfied with their sense of self. And No Celestial represents their desire to rip off their wings, fall from their spot so high up in the world, and let themselves fall down to the earth. Fall down to the earth and just be who they are. Find a different path in life. The Seraphim faces a problem. They can no longer reach the top. They've come to realize that that confidence that they had for themselves is gone now. With their self-discovery, it's now become impossible for them to gain that fake confidence that they had before. Not only that, but now they have this strange self-doubt in them. And they're split on what they want to do with themselves. They've become weak. Good Parts, When the Quality is Bad But I Am, is the best song in this album. I said Impurities was my favorite, but this one encapsulates everything that La Seraphim has been building up in this album, like a true conclusion should. The first line in the song being, I just want to love myself, says a lot about what they've been going through and what they will continue to go through in the future. Whether I'm bad or good, I love the part of me that is weak. Fuck seeming perfect. Find the good parts in your real self.
comfortable with myself, pretending I'm fine. The opposite of the high expectations I have for myself. Making mistakes is okay. I'm so unsure of what's ahead of me. The unknown is okay. It's better than seeing clearly. Blurry is beautiful. I love myself the way I am. I accept my weakness. Anti-fragile represents the exposure to this facade that La Seraphim has built up in the first album. They're shown to be fearless and confident, forever passionate, but in anti-fragile, they ironically show themselves as fragile. And that's what the album cover represents. This is something that many of us struggle with, even in real life. The Seraphim's story is something that we can all follow and learn from.